Tonight, Congressman Lacey Clay is taking action to protect an immigrant. This is a man who has called the St. Louis area home for years, but he's never been here legally. Alex Garcia came to St. Louis from Honduras. The Central American country is 1,600 miles away. Tonight, he's living in a Maplewood church to keep from being deported. News 4's Ashley Lincoln is live with his story and why the St. Louis congressman is stepping up for him. Well, Courtney, right now, Alex Garcia is calling this Maplewood church Christ Church his home. It's been his home for the last 659 days. Now, his family says Congressman Clay's action gives them hope that he'll one day be free and will go back to his original home. It's heartbreaking that it has come to this. For the last two years, this Maplewood church has been what Alex Garcia calls home. That it's come to other families having to make that decision to move into a church to be able to stay with their loved ones. Garcia's wife, Carly, has been working to bring attention to the Honduran refugee story. If you leave, then you're running into the chance of never being able to see your family again. This church shields him from immigration customs enforcement agents who are trying to deport Garcia. I says he's been living in the U.S. illegally since 2004 when he entered the U.S. escaping crimes and poverty in Honduras. Really hard when, especially when I see my kid crying for me. When they go to the store, they want they want me to go with them and and I cannot do that. Alex and Carly married in 2010, years before the threat of deportation. In 2004, Garcia began living and working as a construction worker in Poplar Bluff. Carly is a U.S. citizen and they have five American-born children. In 2017, Alex's request to stay in the country was denied. Our lives have been turned upside down. But the couple hopes new legislation filed by Congressman Lacey Clay will stop ICE from trying to split their family. I'm very, very grateful that he has taken that next step for our family. Clay says his bill would adjust Garcia's immigration status to permanent legal resident of the U.S. and rescind all orders threatening deportation. Clay says ICE raids and deportations risk traumatizing children and damaging families. He's the love of my life, but watching my children go through this is the hardest. And the Garcias tell me that all they can do right now is pray and wait. Now this bill comes before the White House ordered for ICE to do roundups in select states this weekend. Right now, we know that St. Louis has not been on that official list. We, of course, will stay on top of this story and keep you updated. For now, live in Maplewood, Ashley Lincoln and News 4.